Welcome to the first tutorial for ASK. It's going to be a bouncing ball demo. Okay, so it's going to be like a super small tutorial on making a project using the Allegro Starter Kit. Concept is going to be simple. Bounce a ball around the screen. I'm going to assume you're using Vivi++ 2008 Express. Now that's also known as MSBC9. <clears throat> if you're not using MSBC9, you'll need to adjust some steps to suit your IDE. Alright, here's what you got to do. Step one is download the ASK. You can check the Nogdis forums in order to make sure you get the latest version. Step two, extract the kit files someplace you can easily get to. Now, you should know how to extract it already, so I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Put it somewhere logical. Step three, create a new empty Win32 project, not a console application, in your IDE. You're going to go to File, go to New Project. It's going to be like the File, New Project. Okay. And we're going to pick Win32 Project, and we're going to type in ASK Bouncing Ball Demo. And we're going to tell it OK. Now we're going to go to Application Settings, and we're going to tell it Empty Project, and we're going to hit Finish. Okay, so now that we have that, now what we're going to do is we're going to go File Save All, and make sure everything's saved, it's all good like that. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into my Projects folder right where the VC proj is. Okay. Now I'm also going to go and grab the files that I downloaded for the ASK and I'm going to copy them right on over. <coughs> now that I have that, I can go in here, right and go to add existing item and I'm going to pick the files that I just added and put them into my project like so. <coughs> Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the code to primarywindow.h. We're going to scroll down a little bit to where it says your game variables here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is we're going to be a little messy and we're not going to class this up any. And we're just going to say, you know, some simple variables, you know, or like positioning and uh, the velocity of the ball, also known as the delta. And. Uh, I don't know. What are we going to do? The radius of the ball. The color of the ball. And that should be good for that. And we're also going to go down here to the methods. And we're going to make a method for updating the ball. And rendering the ball. Right like that. So now that we have that there, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the primary window.cpp file. Okay. And down here near the end, we're going to put in primary window update ball and primary window render ball. Like that. Now, what we want to do is we want to add the velocity of the ball to the ball position. What this does is this gives us a new location for the ball. And now we need to make sure that we keep it within the screen. So I'm just going to make it bounce off the side, which is you know what a whole bouncing thing is all about, right? So we're going to check if the ball you know, is if the ball position is less than the radius, you know, or if the ball position is <clears throat> farther than the ball radius on the other side, which is going to be the screen width minus the ball radius, then what we're going to do is we're going to invert the delta of the ball. this and we're going to reapply it like so and that will make the ball bounce away from the edge of the screen and we'll do the same thing for the uh, the y-axis so, same kind of goes here we just need to turn 
finish typing this up and we'll be able to hook this all into <clears throat> that and ball y y okay so now we have the update and to draw it I'm just going to use a simple Allegro drawing command. Uh, the back buffer is part of my ASK window, so we can still access it because <clears throat> we inherited from it. And we need to convert these to int, cast it to an int, I should say. This ball radius, then ball color. Okay, so now we have it rendering there. Now, we're going to go ahead and go up to where we update things and we're going to call our new update ball and render ball functions so that way it's hooked in now in load content this is where we actually set it up we're going to uh, make this a blue ball that's why I just type a blue ball as a comment make call is a allegro function and we're going to give the ball oh, 8 pixel radius let's start the ball in the center of the screen Okay, and we'll give it a random uh, trajectory. <clears throat> and we do that in a real easy manner. We're just going to take mod random by like, I don't know, 8. We'll do that. And what we do first is we add 4 to it so that we have a range between 4 and, oh, what's that going to be? 4 and 12? Yeah, something like that. I don't care about the details. Okay, so we have that in there. Now, provided I didn't forget anything. I should be able to hit this little button, start debugging, and we should be able to see the ball bounce. Go to compile, and there we go. The ball is bouncing around, and you see it hits. And there we go. One bouncing ball with the Allegro starter kit. Thanks for watching.